Right guys, so first day back after competing. Always like to have a day off at least, a day or two off. This is gonna be a chest session. Probably go at like 80% because I don't want to rip anything or tear anything. But we're gonna get a good pump. This is when you get the good pumps, right? When you've had all that carbs for days on end, haven't trained. Um, I've probably had about 10,000 calories in the last day. <laughs> so <coughs> so we're, we're gonna go in hard today. Uh, good chest session. And I'm actually gonna celebrate tonight. And we're gonna go for more food, but not nothing crazy because I just, I felt like dying yesterday with all the food I've eaten. I look pregnant on one side. So today, <clears throat> training, eating, back on plan to a reasonable amount. I might have one meal out with Aaron here. And we're going out later. And then I'm actually gonna have a drink. A couple of gin and tonics, nothing wild. It, it don't happen often, once a year if that. But I feel I deserve a celebration. I deserve, I'm in, I'm in Thailand. I haven't even had one drink yet. I think I deserve it, right? Um, so we're gonna wind the drink out, and then it's back to off city season, baby. You know, clean out the system, get everything, get my body tickety boo, have another blood test within the next couple of months, and if I'm good to go, we're gonna start that off season really harsh and hard. I need to be bigger and better. I'm coming back next year. I will be doing next year here because I've got to prove that I am one of the best, and I will and I will turn pro. Now I've just got to work on my body, get bigger and just enjoy life at the same time. But yeah, I'm ready to do it, man, I'm ready to. I get some meter to train with next year. Yes, exactly. You know, I think we're gonna push each other because we both want the same thing. It's hard to find training partners that, you know, are going balls to the wall every day. We're in a good environment, he's a good geezer. We bounce off ideas off each other. I feel like we're both gonna really push each other to the max. I can see that coming, I'm getting that feeling. I'm feeling good. We've got some goals as well. Same goals. Exactly the same goals, so it's all aligned very well. Yeah, and we're both intelligent guys. We both know what we're doing. It's not like I have to keep teaching him, and he don't have to keep teaching me. You know, we just know what we're doing. Just be easy. Easy, just right through. Smash out. And I'm excited to see, you know, how big we get for next year. And then even in the prep, pushing each other, aiming for that, not letting anyone slip. And yeah, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be epic. So just looking forward to it, man, I'm really excited. Yeah, so first day back, I'm gonna push it, but I'm not gonna push it to my full capacity because I'm still a bit dehydrated. I might have drank a lot, but I took direct, so it's gonna still be my system. I gotta be a bit smart with it, take my time. I go by Phil, I know when, you know, I pull back a little bit, run at 75, 80% today. After this week, I'll be all right. I was eating for a week, I'll be good to go. But I'm still lean, joints are lean, everything's lean. Gotta be careful, you know? Yeah, baby! Oh. Big boy oh. weights, big boy weights! Bang. Oh! Bang. Fix! Bang. Oh. Bang. Hey. Let's go, baby weights now! Yeah! Pump it out! Oh. Oh. Second set of the day. It's <laughs> first, isn't it? I didn't count that ball, I think. 15, one. Just 
three 15s. Cool. Then we're going to do three 12s as more weight and then three 10s. That's my entire workout volume in one exercise. <laughs> give you detail, mate. It's good for fitness as well. Keep those elbows down. Four, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Get some blood in there now, boy. Yeah? You know what I mean? <laughs> Cluster set, baby. Cluster set. Here we go. 12, 12, 12 now. Nine, ten, eight. Keeping that squeeze on in Seven. that mid range. Yeah. Hey, yeah, don't fully lock out. Nine. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Three. Four. Eight. 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 Nine. 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 This last one's gonna be fucking hard one. Nine, come on, baby. Four, Ten. That's me, all the way to twelve. All the way to twelve. Uh, Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, come on. Uh, Six. Seven, eight, eight, all you, nine, ten, ten, two more, easy, come on, one, uh, easy, come on. Twelve. It's even lightweight, that's why cluster sets are good, because, you know, you don't need to pound it on your joints, but, Jesus Christ, is my chest getting a pump, you know. I mean, it's a decent weight, it's not, it's not light, light, but, you know, I can go double that heavy, but when you're doing, you know, 45, 50 reps per set, <laughs> you're going to feel it. Really. You either do this or you do low volume, high, high weight. A and B rotations are quite good, I think. Yeah. So you have like that one rotation of heavy stuff, straight sets. Yeah, you do different weeks. Yeah. Work and then some high volume but, shit the next cycle. But for me, when I'm lean, I want to be smart. I can't just jump into poundage. I mean, yeah, the heaviest. Yeah. I'm still lean, joints are dry. It'd be a bit stupid to just first day back, pull a muscle, because you'd be prone to pull a muscle right now. So volume's probably better post-show. I'm not lean. And this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but it's because I like just give him a different response. So he trains with me. He's going to get a different response than what he's used to. So that's going to shock the system, shock the body. He's going to get something out of it no matter what. It might not be what he's used to. Trying different methods. He's always going to get that body guessing. He's going to be like, what the hell's going on to me? I've got to adapt. Hence why you grow. Four, five, perfect. Come on. Six, 12, good. 10, nine. Been that constant tension and not fully letting yourself lock out to let other muscles groups hold the muscle, that gives the chest a break. Well, if you just go to three quarters of the way, your muscle has to hold it there, so it's continuously being worked. Hence why it's harder. People will say, oh, you got to fully lock out. I'm like, trust me, you don't. Let's go, come on. Good, 10, nine, this last one's gonna be hard. Eight, this last one's always hard. Seven, 10, 11, 12. Oh. There you go. Okay, one more weight. <laughs> pre pumped and everything we're doing after now you're gonna get more out of yeah. that's what that's how I see that's how I work I'll go heavy first thing which we did then a cut then an intensifier whether it be something different but normally cluster set works for me and then anything we do after that is gonna be hard even on lighter weight so course, then we so. can really be clever with the joints longevity man longevity full range of motion exercises in it yeah but they're, they're the ones we, we can just be doing this or no 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 but then, good for getting a good pump. I'm fucking pumped right now. Yeah, so that. everything we do might go 10, 10, 8. It might be 10, 10, 8. But whatever it is, wherever it is for this set. I'll just help you get the last couple if necessary. Yeah, baby. Oh. 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 One more. Eight. Good. Yep. Let's go. One. Two. Three. 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 Come on. Four. Oh. Five. One more. Six. That's it. Good. That's it. That's good. good. Ten, eight, six. Happy days. Still good. <laughs> Bursting now. Get on gas. Cooking on gas, mate. All day. My chest is pumped. Yeah. But my Each shoulders, shoulders are, are on fire. And I'm fucking but that, fire. This is, what, this is what I'm saying. Like, You've got to figure out your body, ain't you? Figure yeah, because side. his body's different to mine. Yeah. What he feels, I just feel chest. I don't feel any front delt for me, personally. 
but that's because I'm used to this way. Maybe it was my shape of my body. He's a big guy. So sitting in different positions, different angles, they're gonna work better for him some, some better for me. I will try something he does that he likes. I may not like it. I'd be like, ah, it's too much on my joints. But he might really enjoy that. That's where the coaching comes in. Yeah. So like with clients that come to me with, oh, I downloaded this cookie cutter program. I've been using it, it's all right, but you know, I don't really feel this, I feel that. That's when a coach comes in to look at videos of you moving or in the gym looking at you moving and decide, okay, look, this is what's happening, this is why you can't feel that. Try this angle, try this exercise. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna go, oh yeah, it feels way better. Yeah. And, then, and that, that comes down to as well, what level, what stage they're at. Because if they're a beginner, like, everything should work. <laughs> everything should work. And they don't know what works and what don't work or how they should feel, not feel. We're talking about people like at least two, three years into training. They've got the mind to muscle connection and they can say, I'm not feeling this machine, man. And then what I say to them is, well, pick a machine that's doing the same weight group, the same angle kind of, but hit a different, hit it's hitting a different. If you feel it, do that instead. Because there is no one size fits all with training. You got, and, and it could be gym, gym equipment that they have. Because he could say, do this machine, but the different equipment is a different angle, so he's still not feeling it. So this is what I say to people, find a machine in your gym that hits that machine, that part of the muscle, and if you like it, do that one. Do what feels good. But there's a scenario for every exercise in yeah. this entire gym. It's one person, it's one person it will yeah. fit, and one person it won't. Yeah, and you like a prime example is hack squat. They're all different angles, different yeah. heights, different different degrees. And if I said to somebody, go and do a hack squat, and they're in a pure gym, say, and they've got crap equipment, and they're doing a hack squat, and all they can feel is their knees on fire, they won't want to do the hack squat, so they're not getting the benefits from the hack squat. But then they go to a good gym and use like a Cybex one which is really good and they're like wow this is all i feel is my quads working and then like, but that's not my gym and, and this is what i say to people just find the, the find the, the the equipment in your gym that suits you and if you do go to another gym have fun with it try a new one see if it works better and you can take that to the extreme as well yeah like i've had people that i'll program in like a smith squat a hack squat a leg press an extension and then they're like, do you know what? The only things I feel in my quads is leg press and leg extensions. And I'm like, right, you're just do doing them. that. Do you're just them. doing that. And they're like, what? Just those two exercises, yeah. And I get results every time. You're still working the muscle. You just, whatever you can feel. Yeah, just do extra sets. Instead of doing four exercises and three sets per exercise, just do six with two. There's no rule that says you can't do that. Just don't do too many sets per exercise yeah. per workout. Don't overtrain. Stop fixating on one movement or something that has been set. Do stuff that works. You do have to follow the program that I set, yes. But I always say to people when they're a bit more advanced, if you feel like doing another machine that's hitting the same thing, just do it, man, I'm not bothered. You know, as long as you're feeling that you're training, you're going in, you're going to failure, and you're leaving and eating, I'd rather you do that than not do a workout or hate the workout or not feel the workout and it's, and overcomplicate it and, and you overthink it. Just get in the gym, do it. <laughs> if you put the chair lower, it will do more of your front delt. Sometimes I used to do front delts with an incline machine like that. Put the seat right down so all I'm hitting is delt. That's a good movement to do. Boom. Hey. Oh. I. X. I. I. Oh. For me, that's no doubts in that at all. No, it's too, and I can, too low. It's I can scoop. Yeah, it's too low. I like to that do fucking jobs. scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what makes it feel good for me. Yeah. 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 Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Get it up. Ten. Good. My shine then. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
swoop. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. So that's a wrap. Subscribe, like, you know the deal, get the algorithms going. You're gonna see a lot more content of me and Aaron training throughout this year. And um, you know, we bounce off each other, we get the job done, uh, we push each other. That's what bodybuilding is about. It's hard to find a training partner. I think I found one finally. It, it does take a while because you need to be able to gel, you need to be able to bounce off, they need to be able to keep up because there's nothing worse than having a training partner that's doing half the weight than you. The half the fucking exercise is taking off the weights. But we're, we're banging back to back, same weights. Sometimes he'd be stronger in some movements, sometimes I'm stronger in some movements, but that's just the way it is. And that's that's better, right? So then the movements I'm weaker on, I can push to Got get to what he's doing. It, yeah. Something to chase. A little bit of healthy competition. And then, like, yeah, and he's not used to the higher volume like I do, so that will give uh, you know an adaptation to his body. Yeah. I'm going a bit heavier than probably I wouldn't do, and that'll give me an adaptation. So it, it'll work either way, you know, and, and this is what it's about, people. You know, getting a training partner, pushing yourself. Yeah, you could do it on your own, you could follow the logbook, but nothing beats, you know, chemistry through, you know, bros just fucking hammering it, you know, and bouncing off each other, and that's what you need to progress. Yeah. A good training partner is, it is key, right? Look at any of the greats had training partners. Even like when, um, you know, what's his name? Branch and, and uh, what's the other Branch guy's name? Johnny. Johnny, Johnny yeah, they used, to, they used to bounce off each other, push each other, and they got one of the best physiques in the world. Yeah, they weren't Mr. Olympia, but he was damn close. You know, you can only do what your genetics will allow, but you can be the best that you can be. And that's what I think we're gonna do now. We're gonna push each other to be the best versions of each other. I can bring more 3D-ness, he can bring more size to me, and we can work together, you know? And, and, and that package next year is just gonna blow everyone away. I can't see no one next year doing damage. We're already pre-thinking about what shows we're gonna do. We try, we won't be doing the same show, because we've got to play it smart. 
I don't want to be in, the, in an open, in the overall with him and one of us get it because we're training partners. If we can both get it in the same year, that'll be better. And I think that's key for next year. I think both of us are going to get something out of it uh, and the stars are aligning um, and this is what it is, man. Pro card is the destiny and then future than that is being on the Olympic stage. This is just the beginning. I ain't going to stop till I do it. I'm sure he's not too. So, you know. Just starting, just starting. Yeah, you so, wait, 2023. Yeah, it, it's just going to get better and better and I ain't not having it now. I'm all or nothing now. All or nothing. Nothing's getting in my way. My lifestyle is in a position where I can achieve that. I ain't got things in my way. I can go where the hell I want. I can travel where I want. And this is key to being the best version 